for a hot drink. Powerless to act. Making it rich! left in me, you're not. Could it be I finally need some sanity in this twisted realm of fairy? By all means, let us talk then and behave like civilized beings. Beings of nightmare human. They came here, your kind, because they were promised a special stone by the king of this land. We served him loyally, our sovereign, the great Boreas. But he betrayed us. We were surrendered to the Immaculates so that they could slaughter us and fuel the stone with our blood. For what unholy purpose, I do not know. Some of us rebelled and ran. Of course we did. But they've been tracking us through the storm. We were able to fight off and even kill a couple of our pursuers. But now, I fear I am the last one left. 
So I have. The fates must be conspiring against me. We barely managed to escape the knives of the Immaculates, only to be waylaid by elementals gone haywire. Luckily, they seemed to be as bent on one another's destruction as they were on ours. But the fact remains, I am the only one alive to tell the tale. It's all King Boreas is doing. It must be. He is the one who unleashed this storm, and he is... Yes, I can. But I must ask a price of admission. And that price is the death of Immaculates. They are still in the Fire Temple to the north. Wipe them out, and I'll lead you to the prison. I haven't, no. But if you're looking for her around these parts, chances are she's been dragged into the dungeons of the King. He keeps a prison from which there is no escape. I should know. I built it. You should have seen this land before Borea seized power. Each and every season passed with utmost splendor. But now, you must know that we imps have wandered many a world after our escape from demon overlords in the frightful dimension of Nemesis centuries ago. travels through untold earths. Some of us ended up here in the land of fairy. Boreas, not yet king at the time, welcomed us because he had heard of our reputation, so we built him his fortress and his prison, riddled them with the traps and trickery he desired, and in return we were given a new home. I thought it was naught but a pretty jewel, said to have fallen from the sky. But when they poured blood over it, the stone seemed to soak it up. It's like it became alive. It teemed with energy, like looking into the eye of a dragon. She smiled, her wicked smile, the leader of the Ima I need a remedy! My blood turns to ice within my veins. among the bravest creatures I have yet met, my friend. As is the legend of Gorwin. So the gods will honor all who heed nobility's calm call. I am sure the gods will honor Axel. Let them shut up the one soul. He sounds like the sort of use. Fancy that! An eternal sentence overturned by an ape. We'll snap your up.
cold here. were once granted one, but they were all destroyed after my best raid. Where that talisman is hidden now, though, once you have it, make sure you wear it close to your heart and head for the treasure. Stand proud, right to the smack dab in the middle. Well, I've got to admit, it's quite come to think of it. I reckon things do feel a little fun if you Satis, then I reckon this is farewell. I guess someone else got here first. For now, all we can do is wait and kill every elemental that comes close. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? You must be mad to venture out in this storm, unless you have a very good reason indeed. You don't think us good and true at all. So cut the stranger open, Immaculates. Slay that worm.
unending darkness. Stepping away. Another one. What's this I've spotted? Thank the gods for my... Getting to may it lead us to the prison like we were told.
my, what's this then? To what do we owe the visitation of such an interesting intruder? Speak up, love, for your charms won't save you from a swift and brutal demise if we deem you a threat. Forget among whom you stand, stranger. I'll neither be charmed by a pretty face, nor frightened by a savage's idle threats. Faster than my blade. Corner. Oh. Let's see you try to wriggle free.
Boreas is the king's name. He is winter incarnate. Luckily, my coat is as warm and cuddly as it looks. <laughs> or my tender little ticker would have stopped up at you looking for a witch. Want her to turn you into a rabbit? Or a frog, perhaps? Those are good offers, too, frogs. Yes, I have a great respect for those fellows. Sorry, <laughs> I tend to ramble. So, let me hop right to the point. If you love nothing, must. Try to wriggle free. to drown my sorrows with ale.
blood. It craves more. Force field brims with a thousand, a thousand sniggers resent. To see you again, Source Hunter.
Sorry, sir. What's this? It looks...
curses. I'm stuck. I feel better already. Ah. Looks like we found the prison, all right. The White Witch must be around here somewhere. Mike. If she hasn't been Mike. tortured to death in this hellhole. A word in your ear, Mike. You all right, Mike? In a bit of a pickle, are ya? <laughs> Look like you're proper stuck in there. I'm Tyler, Mike. What's your name, Sunshine? Ain't Rat Killer, is he? Yeah? Leave her over there, open the gate, mate. I'll pull it for you, if you help me back. Me stomach's rumbling. Got some cheese I could nibble on? Kitty! A stamping piece, that! All right, I'll help you. It's too high, mate. I can't. I can't! I'm sorry, mate, but I got bads. Thanks for all the cheese, though. Appreciate it. Seven grant abundance. There must be a way out of here. There must be a way home. <sighs> I have no idea what's going on. One minute I'm out on a jog with my dog, Rocky. 
and the next I'm headfirst in the snow with, with snowmen all around me, and they're, they're talking and poking me and demanding to know which source lord I serve, and I, 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 I'm just hell if I know. All I did was ask for a phone, and these monsters threw me in this dungeon. They asked so many questions, but I, I, I had no idea what any of it meant. It's full of dead bodies and vermin, and the snow people seem to be... Well, it'd be pretty fantastic if I knew what the hell were happening. Where I am, what I'm doing here. I've got a life, you know. A house. What? No. No, I'm not... I pity her, this Iron Maiden. Or rather, the girl's spirit trapped within. Her predicament, if there is any way we can put her out of her misery, we should. For it is better to die than be enthralled by demon curses. You have an astute mind, Hunter. One that meanders, but life is neither god. Not even a crack! Source Hunter, you have found us. Here she is at last. Ikara. She has been encased in ice so unyielding that none of my spells melt even a fraction of its surface. You find me at a loss. I admit it. For I've no idea what sorcery or, dare I say it, sorcery will set her free. Like I said, so far my attempts at rescuing her have been about as effective as trapping a robin's shadow. No. I believe that if we... This frost-touched magic isn't Leandra's doing. It has Boreas written all over it. The Winter King did this to her. So the Winter King's the key. There she is. The White Witch. A prisoner in ice. I wonder what sorcery, or worse...
splattered in blood. Someone must really dislike imps. The void is coming. Away with you, damned reaper! Take your scythe to grey, not my soul! The bane of all life-loving souls. Maniacs and their gods. The humans, they wanted Lord Boreas' great star stone. So they fashioned him a staff. So glad was he with power. Yet another bane that we were given to the hu- In his castle. In the fear not. Fear not. Delusions. Ah, Sauce Hunter. I had so hoped to avoid meeting you here. But perhaps we were bound to fake. You must think me quite the villain, mustn't you? The things you've seen. Without the proper context, I can imagine it's all quite shocking. Horrific, even. And I suppose you must have pictured me, some bloodthirsty madwoman, intent on what, I wonder? Power? Gold, chaos for its own wild sake. The truth is rather less simple than the imagination would conceive. You know as well as I the enlightening capacity of these stones, Sauce Hunter. I've heard tell that you've been sapping the life from precious star stones, and that you are bolstered by the power within them. Your experiences are unique in all of Rivalon's history. But you are hardly the only player in this story. As Star Stone enlightens you, its child, Bloodstone, enlightens something of my own creation. Barbarism. Quite a chauvinistic term to apply to something one hardly comprehends. But I will concede, the power I intend to bring to bear upon Rivalon is no more divine than your boot. We are free agents, Sauce Hunter, all of us. And we owe no higher power, our blood or our flesh. I have posed as a priest in service of a truth greater than any goddess could hope to be. Surely, the sight of a bit of blood doesn't turn your stomach, Sauce Hunter. Now, if only my dear Immaculates took the same approach to our great work. But it seems all too often, all the same, these deaths were necessary. Soon enough, the pain they suffered and pain you have suffered, Source Hunter, will be washed away, cleansed. This is my promise to all of Rev Death. I've nearly forgotten the meaning of the word, what it means to most. But I am no monster, Source Hunter. Like you, I have seen the living snatched so senselessly from this world. But I have also discovered that weeping was senseless. Like infants, we squall clinging to a day that is not ours to keep. What you see as slaughter is in fact a dispassionate process. I take no more pleasure in this so-called destruction than a wave takes in the flood. What I do must be. I wish you could understand. So you have seen it? Yes, it's as I thought. You know as well as I that the void is coming. In fact, if I'm very precise, it's already here. Tut tut, Sauce Hunter. You and I both know I could hardly trust you with such information. Though if you continue stomping around in my wake, you're... And here I believed I was starting to reach you. My foolish optimism bears yet another disappointment. But I do believe we agree on one particular point, Sauce Hunter. This does indeed end now. Enlightened ones, your conflict falls for your ultimate purpose. Heed the void's call. Offer your souls to the demons that beckon you. 
charming of Astarte to send her scouts upon me. But no matter, the bloodstone is mine, and the witch cannot be saved. Stone, another piece of ourselves perverted towards Leandra's will. Soon she'll have desecrated our very souls. We've got to end this. At Nothing Leandra might do. I feel a great sorrow for the Red Woman. She seems to seek right doing, but her means are bloody and terrible. When she realizes her mistakes, her suffer- I very much hope for this. In her heart is a cold season, blinding as snow. But per- It has been conclusively proven, Source Hunter. The Immaculates are nothing more than vile s- Be they any exponent of human nature, man or woman, fair or foul, sweet or- Blood begets blood. Demons beget death. It is a great relief to me indeed to know we steer the same course. Mercy doesn't misguide you, Hunter, and a good thing that is too. For what happens to the clement predator? It starves. No, better to steer my...
my gauntlets for a hot drink. Force field brims with this incantation. Pass the force field and pass the way to the castle. High time for the force field brims with the voices sound. That force field looks impassable. Now surely there must be a way to get through. Bless the sun! I am restored! Seeketh to upset the harmony of Heiderheim. Why hast thou ventured here, Avatar of Man? Why dost thou seek the downfall of Lord May, King Boreas, Sovereign of Winter? So thou seeketh but another human, a worm of no import. But though thou tramplest through my realm and besiegest my fortress, thou shalt not have her! Fairy! I have marcheth to the gallows! High behind drawn forth from freeze and frost! How they mock at me, my brother seasons! Thou art the ugliest quarter, they saith to my frozen face! Thou art the blemish of the year! Fool that thou art, my brothers! Winter is the jewel of the seasons, and now it is the ruler of time and heim! Heimerheim! Tis easy when thou hast but to wish upon a well, and the generous pit delivereth unto thee the power of chaos. It doth whisper, the demon straight into my wintry wit, and a woman he sendeth forth into the fields of fairy, the stone of stars. No more doth she ask of me. 
to stone and blood of imps. In return, she giveth unto me this staff, my siblings enslaved within. Strong are they, these immaculates, stronger than me, for thy wield the powers of darkest demons. And stronger than thee I am too, the lord of all the seasons, the ruler of all the elements, the one king of eternal winter! I, Avatar, I! Thou hast traveled far and delveth deep into the heart of winter, but here thou shalt find thine end. Ice preserveth life and death, and in between the two thou shalt spend the ages in frost encased!
into the fray once more. to the fray once more. Soak to the skin. Seven, eight me.
on your soul. 